Hi friends, today we shall understand the fundamentals of freehand sketching. To start with freehand sketching, one should develop some simple techniques of drawing with freehand. Now we shall see the materials used in creating an effective freehand sketch. These are pencil, paper and eraser. The cross section or grid paper is often used in sketching. The ruled lines help keep lines straight and the squares can be used to sketch approximately to scale. Now let's see the techniques used in sketching the geometric shapes. The horizontal lines are sketched from left to right with an easy motion. The parallel lines should be drawn at an equal distance in one stroke. It is helpful to turn the paper to a convenient angle so that all lines may be sketched naturally as horizontal lines. Short vertical lines can be sketched either downwards or upwards without changing the position of the paper. The vertical parallel lines should also be drawn at an equal distance with an easy motion. If the distance between two parallels is to be increased, then it should be done proportionately. The center lines can be drawn in one stroke by combining short lines. Small circles can be sketched by first marking the radial distances on perpendicular center lines. Then, with an easy motion, one can sketch the circle through the endpoints of center lines. To draw a larger circle, first draw perpendicular center lines. Then, draw diagonals from the center. Next, draw short perpendiculars at the end of each line at the radial distance from the center. Next, sketch short arc tangents to these perpendiculars to approximate the circle. The circle is completed in four sketched arcs by turning the paper in different angles. Another method to draw large circles or arcs is to set off the radius on a strip of a paper. Use this radius to mark as many points from the center. Then one can sketch a smooth circle through these points. Now let's learn how to sketch an ellipse. First, sketch the enclosing rectangle and mark the approximate midpoints of the sides. Then sketch light tangent arcs at the midpoints and then complete the ellipse. Another method to draw an ellipse is to start with sketching the major and minor axis. Then draw a smooth ellipse through the endpoints of the axis. By drawing smooth horizontal and vertical lines in continuation, one can complete the square with an easy motion. Similarly, proportionate large square and rectangles can be drawn in one stroke as above with freehand. Now let's turn to angles. One should be able to sketch the basic angles that are 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. To draw these angles, first sketch one horizontal line in one stroke. Then for the required angle, an approximate inclined line is sketched. The 90 degrees angle is simple to sketch by drawing one horizontal and perpendicular vertical line. Let's see how to sketch a hexagonal headed bolt. A bolt comprises of two parts, a shank of length L and a head with face length D. The shank is cylindrical and is threaded at the tail end for a length X to effectively engage with the nut. The shape of head in this case is a hexagon and it is chamfered. To sketch this bolt, we shall use the approximate standard dimension method. The thickness of the nut T is equal to D. The width across the flat W 
is equal to 1.5 d plus 3 mm. The angle of chamfer is 30 degrees. And the radius of this chamfer arc R is equal to 1.4 d. To draw the front view of the bolt, first neatly sketch two parallel lines of length L at distance d as the thickness of the bolt. Then draw a horizontal center line between these two parallel lines. These will represent the cylindrical shank. The right end of the bolt is rounded. It should be sketched as an arc by taking radius as d. From the rounded end at a distance of x, sketch two horizontal parallel lines representing the threading of the shank. Next, at the left end of shank, sketch a rectangle of size 2d by 0.8d to represent the hexagonal head of the bolt. Draw the arcs with radius r is equal to 1.4d to represent the chamfer shape of the bolt. The angle of the chamfer given is 30 degrees. Now let's sketch the side view of the hexagonal head. Extend the center line from the front view at the right side. Draw two parallel projectors from the front view which represents the thickness of the bolt. Then draw vertical line perpendicular to the center line. Then using the intersecting point of the axis as center, draw a smooth circle of diameter W. Next, circumscribe a hexagon about this circle with two sides horizontal. Finally, sketch a smooth inner circle of diameter T using the above center. This completes the freehand sketch of hexagonal headed bolt.